from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Get started, it's time for One day we do a full hour of hot topics. We got the inside scoop to ask Wendy and the whole bit. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I like celebrities, but we've gotten to do this show without them. You know what I'm saying. And I think you do. So over the weekend, I got a chance to see Bombshell. Yeah, yeah, I went, I went. And I gotta tell you something. I, okay, okay, here's what happened was, um, Friday was so accomplished, on Saturday I'm sitting in the house and the phone rings, it's Boof. And Boof's like, uh, what are you doing? And I said, I'm sitting in the house, talking to you. <laughs> like, it was clean, all the mail open, you know, like every last thing in your house, you know, when it's absolutely perfect, there's not one more thing to tweak. Like, I, I'm that girl, right? So he's like, do you wanna go out? I said, no. <laughs> Only if we can go where I wanna go. I said, I, I wanna go to see Bombshell. Can you look it up? The thing I like about Boof is that I don't have to hail a cab or get a car service. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. He pulls up and then he's got this plaque he throws in the window. And I'm like, okay, uh, uh, yeah, oh yes, oh, I don't know who that is, but it services me perfectly. So he throws the plaque in the window. I'm like, if we get towed, I'm hailing a cab and leaving you. I'm not going to the Bronx, <laughs> to the tow yard to rescue your car, right? So Boof comes through, it's raining, it's horrible on Saturday. SantaCon was going on. We saw, look Boof, we saw what, Skinny Santa's about 15 of them. Yeah. That's it. It wasn't even like a thing. Like, did you see SantaCon? Did you see anything? I tried to avoid them at all costs. Suzanne, were they in Queens? No, but there was a stabbing on the Long Island Railroad right in Queens by our house. I saw that. Yes, yes. So I, I, I avoided the train. We did not go into the city. We didn't want to see any of that. And okay, mm -hmm. this is how it's going down, mm -hmm. not just here in New York, but everywhere. Like lawlessness is ridiculous, right? So me and Boof get to the movies and I'm like, okay, well, if you're asking me out, then you're gonna be my date. And you know what I expect. You have to buy the snacks. <laughs> Boof, right? There, there, there we are. There we are. <laughs> he bought me Sour Patch Kids and licorice and this. Have you ever had flaming hot? Um, have you ever had flaming hot popcorn at the movies? No. It's no longer just cheese and butter and stuff, right? So for every piece of like maybe every five pieces of popcorn, there's one long. Um, flaming Hot Cheeto. Right. <laughs> I had hot sauce and Jolly Ranchers and everything in my pocket, but I didn't have to pull them out. It was so good. Then we get in there and boof. I would say there were maybe no more than 40 people in there with us. Yeah. And we were the only black people, right? Only, only black people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Booth had no idea where he was going, but the good thing about Booth is he's that kind of guy who's secure enough in his guide him that he'll go to a girl movie, which to me, this was like a real girl movie or an industry insider movie, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't even know why it's on the big screen, honestly. I loved all the acting. Everyone did a great, they all did a great, a Charlize and all of them, they did a great job. But as I'm watching the movie with an empty theater, I'm saying, why is this not on Netflix? Like, if you are an industry insider, you'll love this movie, but just wait for Netflix. If you don't know anything about the entertainment, uh, Suzanne, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, you? absolutely. It was so inside, mm -hmm. and Boof had elbows to knee the whole time. Oh. And I'm sitting back, you know, with my uh -huh. flavors, mm -hmm. right? Uh huh. And then I fell asleep. Mm. <laughs> I did. I, I fell asleep. Oh, God. And then Boof taps me to oh. wake me up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Boof, it's dark. It's raining outside. Like, I know this story. I just wanted to see it for myself. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was nothing that I didn't see that I didn't already know or understand. The secret button to let girls out. Mm. Yeah. They threw Brian Williams all the way under the bus. Mm. Okay. Congratulations, Lester Holt. Oh, yeah. um, look, 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 look. Bill Maher. I mean, where are we? But if you are just a regular person, this is not your movie. This should have been on cable. Boof. You and I both agree, uh, both, oh God. <laughs> you and I both agreed. Yeah. Boof. Yes. What'd you think about the movie? Um, it was definitely informative, you know, for people that's in the industry, they, you know, should see something like that, but it was something that I, I believe should not have been on the big screen. And you also didn't understand. No, I didn't. And so at one point, Boof wakes me up and I'm talking to him, I'm saying, I already know this stuff. And then a little old white man was sitting on the other side of Booth, <laughs> right? He leaned all the way over behind Booth, leaning on his knees, and cursed me out, Booth. Right? <laughs> Can you stop talking so loud? <laughs> and I was like, sorry, so we're arguing. Booth is sitting there trying to watch the movie. Me and him are arguing, right? And he looked like a critic reporter or whatever, you know, salt and pepper hair, like 75 years old, wrinkled by himself. <laughs> so then we left. We were two hours in Boof, right? Yeah. But we left. Yeah. But it was about to be over anyway, right? Yeah. And then when we left, you took me for Mexican because I was like, no, this date is not over. <laughs> I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. So I gave the popcorn away to somebody who was saying, how you doing? I, I said, I'm doing okay. I said, I'm finished with my popcorn. It's really good, do you want it? Didn't expect him to say yes, <laughs> but he did. So I gave him the popcorn, um, and then Boof took me to get some, I wanted um, a burrito and some Mexican corn and some guacamole. And then I say to Boof, well, I'm not eating in here with you. This day is d done, like it's raining. I wanna go home and spread this out, you know, at my own house. Now you can watch me eat. He likes to watch me eat, right? <laughs> oh no, look, I tackled this, okay? By the way, I got two Mexican corns, so there was more left over. I got two tacos along with the burritos, so please believe. And I got, this is only a part of the guacamole, but the place that we go makes really good homemade chips, right? So Boof comes in and he watches me eat. He doesn't eat any of it, but he, he likes to watch me eat, weirdo. <laughs> I have food all over my face. And then I gave, I left the rest of the husk for my cats and I posted it. And then Tristan, who's head of my IT was like, Maybe we shouldn't post this because the PETA people will be mad because you're, your, you're, you're giving your cats human food. I was like, I'm overriding you. Post it, right? <laughs> so when it was finally posted, people were like, yeah, you know, they give you those boo-boo eyes. More people than you think share their human food with their pets. Oh. It's not an all the time thing. It's a sometimes thing. And now look, this old chit chat in my way had a good old time on that corn husk. <laughs> and the rest of my burrito, I pulled the chicken out and they, they 
and they love the guacamole. That's all. And I always like to say, I could be anywhere I want, but I choose to be home or where I want to be. This weekend I was invited to P Puff, thank you so much. Um, I just, I, like, cause I have to be here on Mondays and I just, happy 50th birthday. <laughs> People like you, I don't really understand. His actual birthday was November, November 4th. Why do you have to drag it out? Like. We, <laughs> We already know you're the king of everything and your sparkly jacket and stuff. Well, all right, so this is four months after, uh, excuse me, one month after his actual birthday, November 4th. Mary performed, Dougie Fresh performed, little Kim performed, Usher performed. This was at his mansion, correct? That's the address so. that I had. Yeah. Like, right. Some, something or another that I was like, okay. Eh. <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce were there. Kim and Kanye were also there. Jay-Z and Kanye appeared to bury the hatchet. Puff posed with a picture um, with um, Jay-Z and Kanye and Pharrell. And people are saying Jay-Z doesn't look happy. I don't. <laughs> I, I, excuse me, Pharrell is not even in the picture. <laughs> Kanye is off to the left as usual. And Puff is Puff because he knows how to strike a pose. <laughs> anyway, the video from the party went viral. It shows Jay-Z ripping a phone out of a man's hand because she, he was trying to take a picture of Beyonce dancing, having a good time. I'm shocked, like, like I am shocked at that level of the game that people are even doing corny mess like that, pulling out a phone. I asked Boof, was he going? Boof had a, Look, after we went to the movies, he discoed a 3 p.m. party, an 11 p.m. party, and as I can recall, Boof, you said a 4 a.m. party. Yeah. I hate the life of a DJ. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, then why did you call me and ask me what I wanted? Like, why did you even agree to go to the movies? Because when you drop me off, I'm back in the house, I'm napping, I'm sipping, I'm eating. I'm watching TV, like, but you were out. How old are you, Boof? 36. Yeah. But he's got, like, kids and stuff. At what point does that lifestyle get corny to you? Never. Never, never gets corny. <laughs> Like he's taking selfies and stuff. I'm like, don't include me with that. He's like, I like what you're wearing. I said, leave me alone. He's like, <laughs> he's like, you know, I like the street wig and the regular. You, you said I look cute. Yeah, you do. You always do. Don't deny it. <laughs> Minimal makeup, a cute puffy jacket, right? A little jewelry. I had on some good sneakers, but some people would say they were b what bum sneakers, <laughs> right? Boof? They were good sneakers. <laughs> Boof? They were good Chanel sneakers. And I had on a, a fanny pack in case we have to run. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden we're driving through Manhattan. He pumps the brakes hard. I'm like, what are you doing? He says, I gotta go into the gap. My daughter really wants this sweater set. What, a scarf and a hat in yeah. yellow. Uh huh. He goes inside. Puts the plaque in the window, but I'm ready to fight anyone who approaches the car. Like, are you serious? The Santa Cons are walking by, but they're real, but they're real skinny. They don't even seem drunk. They don't even seem like they were having a good time. You know what I mean? So Cardi B and Offset celebrated their 20, uh, his 28th birthday, and the uh, it went viral on Friday night. I, first of all, I love what she gave him because what do you give the man who has everything, right? So. She slammed followers down for, just look at this. Wow. You got every car, you got every jewelry, you got every, um, <laughs> you got everything. You got every shoe, yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? What, what else can I give somebody that got everything? The fridge. <laughs> you deserve it. Oh, oh, you deserve that. Jeez, that's, that's, um, that's 
I mean, hood style, that's a great gift. <laughs> like, that's a, that's a great gift. It really is. But if you're the accountant for these two wealthy people, <laughs> you are splitting your wig today, saying, are you serious with this? Okay, first of all, regular style, it shouldn't have been posted. Like, you can give your man $500,000, but just don't post that. People are out here starving. Jersey City is still suffering. You know, the LIRR had a situation. Norman, what's going on in Chicago? Everything. Everything. Okay, <laughs> okay. All right. The president they want to impeach. Like, it's just not that time to flaunt that kind of wealth. Even people who are fans of Cardi were hating on her for doing it. And her accountant is probably like, wait a minute, this is over $10,000. You know how if you shift $10,000 or more? <laughs> Look at here, Hallmark. I'm not, uh, like, I, I know who you are. I just like a little more edge in my programming. Suzanne loves Hallmark because she's got Pete and Jack. Yeah. And they sit and they watch Hallmark and there's nothing to do with gaiety. <laughs> There's nothing to do with there gaiety? Isn't. There isn't. I, I didn't agree with them not playing this commercial. Well, because you, right. you work here. Yes, exactly. Like, we gotta get the... with modern times and love is love and everyone needs to yes. accept that. Yes, correct, correct. Love is love. So now they pulled that same sex couple off the TV. You all saw that over the weekend. Two women slobbing down after they get married, okay? And, and they were kissing at the altar and conservative groups complained that Hallmark is this not, this, it's not that kind of channel and we're gonna boy, boycott you. Hashtag boycott Hallmark was trending on Twitter over the weekend. I was like, who are you people? You better get with the times, okay? You better get with the times. So, although there is one of my constituency who happens to be gay and a man, who said, you know what, sometimes I like to watch Hallmark because I can escape all the LGBTQLMNOP. I, I won't, I won't, I'll tell okay. you during commercial. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but, but he was like, sometimes I like to escape. And I said, well, I don't really watch Hallmark. Like, I don't care about Christmas movies. I don't care about sapsucker movies. Like, I want to see stabbing, drugs, <laughs> Drinking, I, I want to see all that stuff I like to watch. Well, overnight they apologized and they said that they're going to start running the ad again. But being that they pulled back, those of you who feel the way you do, feel the way you do. You see what they did. They only brought it back because Ellen complained and you know some other people with you know a big fan base complained. But they wouldn't have brought it back on their own. Have you checked on programming? Is my Santa movie going to be playing this <laughs> holiday weekend? <laughs> no, it's not playing this holiday weekend. But is it, is it in any throwback. scheduling? Oh, look at it. Oh, well, how dare you? Yeah. Oh, how dare you? How, how, how dare you? <laughs> um, my name is Pastor Ruth, and the movie's called Santa Con. And I am the light that guides the bad in the town yes. on Lifetime. I did that back in 2014. Yes. How dare you? Yes. I'm an actress. Yes. So Madonna is 61 and she's got this boyfriend who's 26. Now, now look at here now. She's screaming over there. She said, cornball, uh-uh, no. <laughs> Who is that co-host? Stand up, stand up. Is that you? Stand up. Stand up. Okay. She's 61, oh, what are you, hot flashing? Oh no, you're cold, you got the warmers. I know, I use them during commercial, you know I do. Wait, you've been here before, Suzanne, you recognize her. Yes, that's she one of our regulars, oh, we love her. her. Oh boy, here uh -huh. we go. Oh boy. What? All right, so look, she's got this background dancer who's 26 and they've been dating. His name is Alalik, Alamanalik. 
or no. Alamik Williams. Alamalik. Alamalik Williams, no relation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you think he's cute? No. No. Just no. Is your microphone even on? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. But no. Well, it, no it, to that. It makes a nice accessory. Now sit down and give the mic back. <laughs> Marco, take her mic back. Look. Here's the thing. Oh, Madonna. He is the same age as her daughter, Lourdes, okay? Oh. Okay. Not only that, but Lord, what? Three years older. Three years older than Same Lourdes. Difference. Yeah. Same difference. All right, so, so there they are. They're all on the same vacation. And there's old grandma oh my God. booed up with a 26-year-old. Here's what I feel about stuff like that, because like when I go out, I get the side eye from young boys. But here's the thing. That's supposed to be a one-night stand, if that. <laughs> Not a boyfriend where you're like, all right, co-host. And we're a liberal cloud, crowd. Clap if you think this is okay. Ooh. And she looks great. For 61, like, like, oh, you see filler and stuff, but she still looks great. I, you know what? She's become that old lady I feel bad for. Just cause I don't think that she understands it's okay to grow older gracefully. It is, it's, it's okay. Like, we do stuff, we go through stuff, but it's okay. If a 26 year old girl is lucky, she'll live to be 61 like you, Madonna. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> well. Um, can you make more noise? Cause we got more great show. <laughs> Up next, the inside scoop on why, oh gosh, this is a big story. Russell Simmons and Oprah are going at it. Grab a snack and come on back. I couldn't tell this by myself, otherwise no. you'd throw me under the bus. <laughs> Hello. It's time for the inside scoop, and here with the dish is my entertainment journalist friend, AJ Gibson. Yeah. AJ, yeah. sing it, sister. Listen, so you know the tea is hot when Wendy can't wait to come back from commercial break to start talking about this. So right now we're talking about Russell Simmons and Oprah Winfrey. Oh. Couple of titans, right? So Russell is furious with Oprah. So mad at her right now, because last week it was announced that she is releasing a new documentary on Apple TV Plus, uh, and it's focusing uh, on his accusers, uh, sexual assault accusers, rape accusations over the years, and it's fi uh, primarily focusing on Drew Dixon. Now, she was an executive at Def Jam Records back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. um, so Russell Simmons was her boss, and in 2017, uh, the New York Times did an expose. Uh, between her and two other women who all accused him of rape over the years. Mm -hmm. Now, she claimed that Russell would speak very graphically to her at work, that during business meetings in the boardroom, he would have her sit on his lap, that he exposed <laughs> himself to her multiple times. <laughs> and then she said one night, she ran into him, she was uh, going to get a taxi. He said, no, I'll call a car for you. Mm -hmm. You're doing well at your job, I'll call you a car. Come into my apartment mm -hmm. and wait for the car. Allegedly, while she was in the apartment, mm -hmm. he pressed her up against the wall, threw her down in the bed, started kissing her, and then raped her. Oh. Yeah. Uh, this is very, very serious stuff. So she threatened, uh, she sued, threatened to sue back in 1997. This happened in 1995, allegedly. In 1997, they settled for $30,000. When one girl on the radio mm. named Wendy was singing it. See? Leave so, me alone, leave and me alone, and these, go. Yeah, so we've been hearing about all of this for a long time, but money tends to get you out of situations, right? So. She and was, fake friendships tend to blind you. Amen, amen. So she's one of three women that accused that he raped them between 1988 and 2014. So there's oh. a long pattern of this going on, right? <laughs> Brendan. Now she's going stop. on to talk about all of this with this new documentary with Oprah, which is gonna premiere at Sundance Film Festival here in another month or so, and then be released on Apple TV Plus. Uh, which is where Bombshell should have been. Amen. Amen. You saw it? No, I, no, no, I'm getting ready for Golden Globes. I'm prepping. I was focused on you first, Wendy. I'm okay. I'm gonna watch it this week. Thank you, AJ. You first. Go All back. Right. So then, Russell then, uh, he did acknowledge inappropriate conduct over the years. 
Uh, he's apologized for it. He says he's a new man. He meditates now. He's very zen. But he says he denies ever raping any of these women. Uh, he wrote a long post on Instagram to Oprah because that's how we apologize in 2019, right? Uh, he said he's innocent. Um, but here, I just want to get to this quote. Ready? This is what he said um, on Instagram. He said, Dearest Oprah, uh, you have been a shining light to Not my family. Nah, well, <laughs> he's trying. You've been a shining light to my family and my community. We bonded to say the least. This is why it's so troubling that you choose me to single out in your recent documentary. He goes on to say, Shocking how many people have misused this important, powerful revolution for relevance and money. Maybe you should name your documentary Flavor of Love. Oh. Yeah. He's obviously alluding to the Me Too movement, Time's Up. Uh, he's thinking that, uh, first of all, he thinks probably, like you alluded to, that he and Oprah are a little closer than they actually are. Uh, Everybody in this business is closer than... Are you serious, phony yeah. friends? Yeah. You better go inside with your pets and slam the blinds like, and be your own best friend. This, right? Exactly. This... Come on! Oprah... Just to be clear. I tell Booth, oh, yeah. one wrong slippery move and we're done. Done. Oprah, you know I say that, Booth. Oprah started off in Baltimore years ago. Oprah did not become Oprah by being like kind and sweet and like keeping her mouth shut when a man tells her not no, to I speak up. No, right? so, I know stuff, right? I know stuff. Girl, I want to talk to you more off camera. Okay, so. No, you don't. Not only is Russ upset, now 50 Cent has chimed in. He's upset as well. What'd she say? I mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So he came to Russell's defense. He slammed Oprah for only going after black men. Uh, Fiddy brought up Oprah's controversial interview with Michael Jackson accusers back in the day. <laughs> so then he takes to social media. There's a photo of her uh, during, during that documentary. He takes to social media and had this to say. I don't understand why Oprah is going after black men. No Harvey Weinstein, no Epstein, just Michael Jackson and Russell Simmons. This bleep is sad. These documentaries are publicly, uh, publicly convicting their targets. It makes them guilty till proven innocent. Wendy, what are your thoughts? Read my eyes. Okay. It's just, it's just absurd. I don't know why he felt he had to chime in. All right, let's talk about Amanda Bynes. Let's move on. Please. Yeah, so Amanda... Oh, okay. <laughs> so... Amanda Bynes. Uh, this is why I like Mondays. This is why I like right, Mondays. Right, wake it up, get it going. <laughs> so, you know, Amanda Bynes, she's had a rough go the last few years. She checked herself out of a sober living facility last week. Uh, she was receiving mental health services uh, for substance abuse treatment since last January. Uh, she's making her fa family and friends a little bit nervous that she might relapse after checking out. Quick backstory. How you long know, was she there? Well, she was there for a year this time. But back in 2012 is when all this started to happen. Remember? When she lit the dog on fire yes. and then washed him off in the gas station. Gasoline, yes. Uh -huh. uh, she, uh, she and was threw in... the bong out of the window on a high rise in well, Manhattan. She had a DUI, crashed into a police car. Right. That right. happened. Uh, right. She also pierced her cheeks and started wearing like ridiculous hats and AJ, wigs. This a lot is why there. I have you yeah. here. It's a lot going on. But she was eventually diagnosed with bipolar disorder, mm. which is she got a diagnosis. She got help. She went to fashion school. For four years, right. she actually was a really. She's really good too. She's really with the talented. Sketches. Yes, she, We've she graduated. We've shown them here on Hot Topic. Yeah, but then she had a setback last year. She did a spread for Paper Magazine. Uh, it was her first setback yeah. in the public eye in a while. That's when she hit on Drake. Yeah, and then she in a in a really graphic way. Well, then she yes, she relapsed. Okay. She relapsed. She said being back in the public eye was just too much for her to handle. She wasn't ready for it just yet. Uh, the, the reports were that she was missing initially, initially but her parents. Uh, say that they knew where she was the entire time. Her mom um, and dad have been through it. They have been through it. With well, her. She was in court on Thursday, speaking okay. of her mom and dad. What happened? So her parents have conservatorship over her entire career and her fine, most of her finances. So Thursday, she had a uh, hearing. She wants to bring in a third party. She doesn't want to totally get rid of her parents in this situation, right. but she wants to bring in a third set of eyeballs and a, another voice of reason into her life. Um, so after the hearing, because um, she was put on a psychic... Uh, Evaluation at a 72 hour hold back in 2013. That's 7:30. Yes, yeah, the 7150 or whatever. Yes, the yeah. three, a three day 72 hour hold. Right. Um, so she's oh. supposed to be under their conservatorship until 2020. Um, now apparently she went to court. The judge ruled that she is okay to live on her own again now. Your which pants is really... are so tight. Girl, you don't even know. Cook. <laughs> Wendy, can I tell you something? Look, I'm gonna be real honest with you. Give you all a little a little holiday present early. 
When I knew I was coming here, I tried on a different suit. I was going to wear red. Okay. I tried to close them. I haven't worn them since last year. They didn't fit. Okay. I've had a lot of apple pie and eggnog this holiday season. No, you, season. you've gained weight? I don't Girl, see weight I'm a, on you. I'm, well, I'm, I carry it well. I'm 6'5". Yeah, you're what, 6'5"? I'm 6'5 and a half. That's why he's AJ <laughs> Gibson, everybody. AJ, thank you. Thank you so Pick much. Pick up a copy of his book. It's called Flipping the Script. It's on Amazon. Trendy at Wendy is next. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. It's really high. Uh, it's time for Trendy at Wendy. Welcome our friend, Ashley Glazer and her costume. Hey guys. It's okay, <laughs> okay. Thank you. You look great. Thank you. The hat is part of this, one of the items today from Rulala. Okay, the end. come along. <laughs> Ashley, what are we doing? All right, so mm, Rulala is a what is this? so many things to keep us warm and cozy oh this winter what season. This? So this is from Sensorpedic. This is a warming neck and shoulder wrap. I could use this right now. Yes, I could as well. It's I always hold the stress here. and tension in my shoulders. It's very cold in here today um, and outside and here on the East Coast. But so it has a neck clasp, so that way you can kind of be mobile and walk around with it. There's an eight foot cord. My son would love this. My parents would love this. I would love this. This is good for everyone. It's for okay. everyone. So it heats up. It heats up. There's six in. settings. And if you six fall asleep, settings. there's a sensor safe, so it like automatically shuts off so you won't overheat. How yourself. much is this? So it retails for $128. 120, I'm sorry. We're okay. getting it 70% off at $34.99. Okay. Very cool. Very okay. cozy. I want to put Get it on this. now. Oh my gosh, really? It's amazing. Mm. These, I want to wrap myself up in this right now. I've been sleeping with it all week. These are from Adrian Landau. Super That's a good plush name. throw. How soft is this? She makes rich stuff and regular stuff. <laughs> yes. Hi, <she> Adrian. <laughs> so we have two different colors for you to choose from from the throat. It's a super large size, hey. so it'll fully fit nice and cozy. There's snow leopard print, and there's a charcoal and a camel. And the flip side is solid, so you can kind of be fun or you can be smooth. I like the camel. I like both of them so Me much. Me too, it's so but hard if you can only have one, it. get this one. <laughs> So these retail for $99.95. That's not bad. It's really not. I mean, look how big look it how is. Look how big it is, guys. Okay. It's huge. It's big. I'm 5'11". It's so look. thick. Look. It's so okay. warm. So we're getting it 72% off at okay. just $27.99. And to continue our slumber and our warm Not another pillow. Season, another pillow, yes. Damn this, this show. Sensor Pedic. <laughs> <laughs> this is copper Ooh, infused. But wait. So it's a soft memory foam. You can feel copper it. Copper infused? Yeah, so that helps with your beauty. Beauty sleeve, Copper fighting is really acne. Good for you. Super good for you. Helps with inflammation, and then it has the memory foam gel cluster, so you can push it all the way down. It will not leave a dent from your head. Ew, so it let's bounces get to the back. moisturizer. <laughs> it's not doing what I thought it was going to do. So look, at, this, look at my hands. How dare you? It's already, you set me up. Look how tight and smooth. get out of here. All right, so the, the pillow retails for hundred dollars. We are getting it eighty percent off at just nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> Copper infused Copper, pillow? I know, 19 you can get four With memory the whole foam? House. It's an insane deal today. Rulala has its This is crazy. Up, sensorpedic. From $228 to $19.99? No, that's a, the, the flats are $228. This is $100, but we're getting it for $19.99. That's what I'm saying. It's so good. Yeah, these are $228. Okay, well, wait. These are on sale, Tori too. Birch. I recognize these are Tori the Birch. Birch. We have so many good things today. So they these go are up Tori to size Birch. 11, too, by the yes. way. And these, they're travel flats, so you can fold them up. You can toss Ooh. them in your bag. Such an iconic American designer logo, recognized everywhere. You have three different choices. So you have silver, oak, and black with the gold hardware. So these retail for $228. We're getting it 25% off at $169.99. Your hands are looking tight. Next up, we have this beautiful hat. This My is what hands I'm are wearing. looking rusty. This is from Amicali. This is a cashmere turban. Don't, so please, I don't, love it. Look at that. It what, a mess. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Ooh. You can hide your hands and rub them nice against this warm hat. The cashmere yeah, keeps your hair nice. nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Comes in six different colors. I'm festive with the red one, but you guys can choose from one. Retails for $115. We're getting it 75% off at $27.99. 100% cashmere. Get this. All right. And I like the turban Help style. Help me fix my Fine. hands. What, what just happened? Okay. I, I used so, this one. 
What is this? So this is the Predere. This is the age-defying stem cell treatment system. Very expensive, so very, very expensive, expensive, but it's your skin. Just pay attention. I it's do love this brand, but I think ingredients. I used it out of order. Out of order. And when you use it out of order, oh, you get the tightness first, but then you have to hydrate. So it has ingredients, stem cells from grape, apple, Jesus. fruit extract, aloe to hydrate, vitamins and minerals. So you have the three-step serum. Once you put the moisturizer on, Wendy's hands will be back to normal, gorgeous and glowing. Retails for two thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. Oh. We are getting it ninety eight percent off now. at just fifty nine ninety nine. And there we have it, Ashley. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Wendy. Uh, Rula Law, thank you a lot. These amazing deals are going to go fast. Go to wendyshow.com before they sell out. Up next, we've got our holiday gift grab. Don't miss it. <laughs> Nutcrackers, what's up first? Oh, uh, oh my gosh, you're gonna love this, okay? It's Morphe Beauty. You know we love beauty products here. It's a professional makeup at an affordable price, including brushes, highlighter, lip kits, and more. Over $300 of stuff right here. Studio audience, you got it all. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold your breath. Take it off, Nutcracker. Okay, you have no idea what's going on, but I'm gonna lay it down for you, okay? This is Cockpit USA Fashion. They have the finest leather and sheepskin jackets. Celebs like Drake and Rihanna and Tom Hardy, they all have worn this stuff. Okay, studio audience, you're all getting a $300 gift card for Cockpit USA. Huh. <laughs> Okay, Nutcracker, what's Lay Us? Okay. Now, if you don't have a plan, then you're not my people. This is Hotel Plan Er. They're gonna help you find the perfect spot to get away. And they make it easy for you. Find over 100,000 hotels worldwide. Studio audience, you're all getting a $250 gift card for these wonderful people at hotelplanner.com. For more information on all this stuff, go to wendyshow.com. We'll be right back. Almost legendary Ask Wendy, where we discover more about each other every day. People forget that they're on TV. Watch. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? What's your name? Where are you from? Oh, your lashes. Oh, you like them? Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> so, where are you from? What do you do? I'm Whitney. I'm from Westchester, and I'm a flight attendant. Okay. How can I help you, Whitney? I think I have a crush on my gay bestie. <laughs> We've been friends for a really long time, seven years. We're really close. And he told me like one time when we was hanging out really night, he was like, um, if you, I was straight, I would date you. Okay, a lot of gay men say that to us. No. It doesn't mean that- He's really cute. How old are you? 29. All right, have a seat. <laughs> like, where are we going with that conversation? I don't even understand what the hell she was just saying. Hey, Wendy. I'm Sammy. Res respect that he's gay and leave him alone. And you're 29, old enough to know. By the way, you look 18. <laughs> hey, Wendy, I'm Sammy. How you doing? How you doing, Sammy? Where, I'm good. Where are you from? I'm from Florida. And what do you do? I'm currently a college student at okay. University of Florida. Okay. So I have three older siblings, and none of us live at home anymore. But we visit on holidays, random weekends. And lately, my mom keeps telling my sister and I especially Ooh. about her sex life and... It's gross. We don't want to know. Wait, does your dad live in the house? Is... Yeah, my parents are together. Okay, parents, parents, or step parents? Parents, parents, they've had the same four. My parents have been together for like 30 something years now. Oh my gosh. All four from it's the same. It's so cute, but she's sharing too much. Yeah, way but, too but at much. least they love each other. Yeah. yeah just... How old's your mom? My mom is 53. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. I guess they have too much privacy now that nobody lives. Yeah. No. We they, just don't they've smushed know. in your bed at least a yeah. hundred times. I'm uh -huh. gonna vomit. I'm gonna vomit. Okay. That's gross. So what's your question? So how do I tell my mom to not tell me 
as much as she's been doing. Get together with your other two girls, and yeah. when you're home for the holidays, you just sit her down privately, away from your father. Yeah, he doesn't Like your that. father, your mother is 53. I'm in that age group. You know, we, we're juicy. Yeah. You know, you know, but girls like you think that we're nothing yeah. but dust. Yeah, I hope. But, but look, be happy that your parents are happy, but get together with your two sisters, okay? Yeah. Happy holiday. Thank you. All right, we have time for more. Uh-oh. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? I've been connecting with you the entire show. Yeah, you thought, okay. Yeah. I thought that was just me, but I'm happy. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy. No, we were making eyes. No, yeah, like... I know, I'm happy. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. So, I dumped my boyfriend because he was a jerk. Wait, right? who are you? Where oh, are you sorry, from? Sorry, my name's Aaron. I'm from New York. And what how are you, you doing? doing? I'm, I'm in, uh, studying accounting. How you doing? Oh, yeah. I'm an accountant. Yeah. So, okay, so I dumped my boyfriend because he Good was a with jerk. Numbers. Yes. That thing with Cardi B and Offset. No, that, well, yeah, that's why I was making accounting. Yeah, yeah was that's like, when yeah. we first locked eyes. Yeah. You understand? I got it. I felt the pain. Uh -huh. I felt it. Yeah. Anyways. Go ahead. So my boyfriend dumped him because he was a jerk, right? So I went over to his house to get his stu my stuff back. Okay. And he made me dinner. One thing led to another. Uh -uh. We ended up making out, and now he's blowing up my phone, texting calls all the time. Wendy, I'm not interested. So how do I fix this? How long were you boyfriend and boyfriend? Six months. Not too long. Not too long. Yeah. Okay, so then, like, I don't like to text. Like, texting yeah. is so cowardice. But in this case, Text him and say it's done, block his number, and then it's, it's done. Easy as that. Uh, okay, yeah. that's all I'm saying. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>